ladles and jelly spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. Um, wow, that's <laughs> quite a big box. Uh, this is the Republic F84G Thunderjet uh, in 148 scale uh, by uh, Revel Monogram, part of their Pro Modeler series. Um, and I bought this a while ago uh, from a dealer uh, in the US. Um, I think I mentioned before, I'm not really into jets. Uh, but the reason I got this one was because I bought a couple of other planes off of him and he informed me quite nicely that it was as cheap to send three boxes as it was to send two and he was selling this for a ridiculously small amount of money so I was like, yeah, go on, why not? Um, but the reason I'm going to build this now is because of this. It has photo etch parts in it. Now, I have never used photo etch before um, but the thing is, my son has a, a plane he wants to build that has photo etch and I've got a couple of other planes that also have them and I thought this would be a nice opportunity to have a bit of a practice with photo etch and see how we get on with it. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get on with it. So looking at the parts, um, it actually looks pretty nice actually. Uh, I'm not seeing much in the way of mould lines or flashing, it all looks quite nicely moulded. Uh, the tyres, I don't know if you can see those, are actually like weighted, they're flat spots on the bottom. Um, it seems quite detailed, there's a lot of uh, rivet detail and things like that on the fuselage. Um, not a massive amount of wings. This kit is dated 1999, so it's fairly old. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, this is the other bag of bits. One of the things that's interesting with this, it comes with a, a variety of different uh, configurations. One of which is uh, this, which is a, a nuclear bomb. So <laughs> that looks quite interesting. Um, and as I mentioned before, it also has these photo etch parts. There's not a massive amount of photo etch. Um, most of this is for the cockpit ladder. Uh, and then there's a bit here for the air brake and then all of these parts here are basically to make seat belts um, it's kind of interesting that the fact they give you the buckles for the seat belts but they don't actually, you, according to the instructions uh, you actually have to make the belts yourself out of paper so that should be fun <laughs> um, but we'll give it a go uh, one of the things I'm slightly concerned about are the decals um, some of these decals, I don't know if you can see that very well, but they're actually quite yellowed. I'm hoping they're going to come out all right. But, you know, we'll see. They'll work or they won't. Um, and I must confess, I, I know I normally build stuff out of the box, but I did get <laughs> a mask for the cockpit. I'm hoping it's the right one. Um, it does say F84G 148 for Revel kits. I'm hoping it's the one for this kit, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. Uh, the instructions aren't bad. Um, it's quite nice. It has these like photos, and it tells you because uh, obviously it's black and white, but it tells you what colours to paint things, which is nice. Um, so it's interesting. It gives you these photos, so you can get the extra detail if you want it. So yeah, I think this should be uh, fairly interesting. Right, let's get on with it.
drop, drop the wall.
tuned in to MCM. On the NBC News Room in New York, President Roosevelt said in a statement today that the Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, from the air. I'll repeat that. President Roosevelt says that the Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor in Hawaii from the air. We will interrupt all programs to give you latest news bulletins. Stay tuned to this station.
And here is the finished article. Um, what to say about this kit? I really didn't enjoy building this kit. Uh, you'll notice that it's still missing a decal from the wing. Uh, I was going to go out and buy some aftermarket decals, but uh, yeah, I decided against it in the finish. Um, I think I've reached a point where the kit may not be done, but I'm done with the kit, if you see what I mean. Uh, I, I, it's possible that at some point in the future I will come back and revisit it um, but the way things are at the moment it's just I'm not having fun with this kit and as with any hobby it's supposed to be fun if you're not having fun there's no point doing it so uh, I think this is more of a cautionary tale uh, than a build video um, if you're building a kit and you're really struggling with it and you're really not enjoying it then stop and do something else because if you're not enjoying your hobby there's no point doing it Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, on a plus side, I'm very pleased with how the pilot came out, so that was good. Um, so, yeah, maybe at some point I'll finish this off completely, but it's, it's done for now. So, uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.